All right, hello to my Scorpios. All right, Scorpios, let's get right into your reading. Let's get into your reading. Talking to you wherever Scorpio is in your birth chart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Talking to you wherever Scorpio is in your birth chart. Already prayed over your cards. Already asked source for clarity for you. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Let us see what is going on. All right, let's go. First card out of the deck is Page of Pentacles. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Page of Pentacles, right? All right, Page of Pentacles. Somebody's going to feel like they have a whole new lease on life. This is a Page of Pentacles. Like somebody's going to feel like new money. Feel like new money, right? Um, and then Knight of Cups here. This is where you have um, possibly like a new... Um, Possibly a new love, but um, it's because you're learning how to save yourself. Like just kind of really just um, just um, really focusing on self-love, right? Just kind of like believing in, like we had, we just came out of a, we're still in the full moon phase. We just came out of a harvest moon, uh, partial lunar eclipse. The full moon was in Pisces, which is the last sign of the zodiac. A lot was going on, right? In one of Pisces ruling planets, Neptune retrograde. Lots going on. Lots, lots, lots. But some new seeds are being planted, right? Some new seeds are being planted. Somebody has ended, um, like possibly, like saving other people financially. Could have been that right there. So that's a that's kind of a part of the reason why somebody's kind of feeling like a new lease on life too, and really thinking about legacy like really kind of sort of thinking about your legacy who you want to align yourself with in terms of your legacy right here we also have the queen of pentacles here i feel like somebody is really down to earth and really relatable just in a lot of ways right and um here we have the three of swords here and so just moving on from some deep disappointments of uh, just like energies who just kind of have this um somebody could have had people from your past who were just looking for people to save them in some way shape form or fashion right save them financially material whatever the case may be but you're moving on from that that also feels like a huge weight lifted off of somebody's shoulders as well so again that's just heavy you know to be around people who are just looking for you to just save everybody that's a that's a big back breaking in terms of like legacy like, you know, because you might think, what, what is your legacy, you know, um, of just trying to carry everything, you know, all the time. That's that's a lot. That is really, really a lot. So that's why somebody could be feeling like a whole new lease on life. Whole new lease on life. So let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. Um, and that's, that is, um, that is relatable to a whole lot of people. That is, that is down to earth and relatable to a whole lot of people. Whenever you see the queen of pentacles, sometimes on the card, you may have a white rabbit on there, right? So you kind of see a little bit of the matrix, a little bit of Alice in Wonderland where people like follow the, this, you know, fairy tale, like that you really can carry everybody, you know, in your family. You can carry this person, carry that person, you know, so on and so forth until it gets to a point where it's almost a sense of entitlement. Like people kind of sort of think you're supposed to carry everybody right and then you realize how heartbreaking it is when you stop when you stop when you either can't or you won't right if you can't um do it or you won't like that's the realization for a whole lot of people it's like okay can't pay can't babysit people kids anymore that could be diff, uh, you know people stop believing in you, right? Because that's, remember, Pisces is the I believe sign, right? Um, <clears throat> you can't, um, maybe you weren't making as much money as you were before, so you can't continue paying people's bills. People stop believing in you. Phone calls stop coming. You know, certain things happen, right? So that's why I'm supposed to say you're learning how to save yourself now that you have a whole, you feel like you have a whole new lease on life, somebody. feels like they have a whole new lease on life. You're planting some new seeds. You're aligning yourself, you know, um, in a new situation. Somebody could have an um, a, a increase uh, at work, like you could have a new job, right? So increase at work does not mean, oh, let me get on the phone and call everybody and say, hey, got to increase at work, got to raise, <laughs> you know, I can go back to paying everybody's bills again. So it's just like, mm-mm-mm. 
you already can relate to that. Whoa, Capo, slow down. <laughs> Don't do that again. So yes, yeah, so the sources say you're actually teaching people how to save themselves. That's what you're doing. So as you're paying off, and it also looks like you're paying off, you, you may have paid off bills. Maybe you finished, uh, you know, paying off this or finished paying off that. That doesn't mean, you know, that's what you said. Okay, you want, you're trying to grow your money. You're not trying to stifle your own growth, right? So this is what somebody is doing. Here we have the Ten of Cups. Moving more towards sacred relationships. And I see a lot of your wishes being fulfilled as well, right? So congratulations. Here we have the Seven of Wands here. So, yeah, so you being able to defend your decision to move on from some things. Without even, you're not even motivated to do that anymore because somebody has had to learn a hard lesson of just like when you put some put the brakes on something when it comes to material possessions, including money, just anything material, anything in the material world, that's where somebody had to learn deep heartbreak that that was not, you got to learn love languages. That may not be the other people's love language. They may not be motivated by the same things you're motivated by. So, yeah. Here we have the Eight of Swords here. Yeah. And that literally can restrict some people. That literally can restrict some people. Right? Drive some people crazy. So, yeah. So that's where the Wheel of Fortune is. That's where the Wheel of Fortune is for some people. Somebody's going to feel real fortunate to have to say, okay, that's not a responsibility for you anymore. Not your responsibility anymore. So here we have the Judgment card here. So a total transformation is happening. Total, total transformation is happening here. Total transformation is happening for someone. So here we have the Emperor card here. So um, this is where... Uh, that's bringing out the uh, you and Aries actually share um, total recall, like uh, Mars, right? Then that's we're going back to purpose is all about, right? What is the purpose? What is the purpose of something? What is the reason why you're here on planet Earth? What is your purpose? What is your, you know, that's where it goes back to feeling like a whole new lease on life, getting structured and authoritative, right? You know, not being an overgiver of just like material stuff, right? That's where the breakthrough is going to come in. That's where somebody's going to wake up from a nightmare. Like, what, what's the? That's what um, Ace of um, Ace of Swords is about. It's about motive. What's the motive? What's the reason, right? What is the motive of something, right? What's the What's the reason? What's the purpose, right? Tower moment, right? Yep. Right. So your head and heart are no longer at war with each other. Yeah, they may have been at war with each other before, but not anymore. Nope, not anymore. Yep, not anymore. So, here we have the King of Cups here. Yeah. Somebody was definitely dealing with a master manipulator. Here we have the Seven of Swords here. Yep. It was basically saying, now that you're not doing everything, you need to watch your back. Whoever this is. Now that you're not doing everything that you're that you were doing before giving, giving, giving till you couldn't give anymore. Now you need to watch your back. I mean, it's like whoever this is, um, and it's two of them. It, it's two of them, like, you know, two of them. But they're being, it's a spirit of this. It's their way of the highway. So, um, and that's what I'm saying. Like you're closing out cycles, but it's two of them, um, Scorpios, that's had that same type of a spirit have the same type of a sort of a bullying type of blowtorch kind of, y'all know what I'm saying, a blowtorch kind of spirit. Um, and so Source is saying, you know, to be strategic, because you may be asking, well, what's the reason? Like, what, why are people like that? Something having to do with money, something having to do with money, something having to do with material possessions, something having to do with, uh, you know, legacy, Something having to do with um, something, your reputation, you know, it's being down to earth and relatable, like wanting to be connected to you and something, because water, water is shaped and guided. And I say this a lot in my readings, by the earth that holds and surrounds it. So somehow wanting to be connected to you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So it's almost like as long as your reputation is good, as long as your money like as long as something can be connected to money or connected to, you know, uh, clear water or your intellect or something like that, you know, 
then you can be used in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So there, it's like, you know, um, um, but that would be the motive. That would be the motive. That's the motive right there. So that's the motive. Let's see what else we have. Let's see what else we have. So... So yeah, stay focused on your purpose. Stay focused on your purpose. Here we have the Ten of Pentacles here. Something having to do with, again, legacy. Yeah, your legacy and somebody else's legacy having to do with legacy. Right? Having to do with legacy. Let me see. Um... Yeah, so, um, oh, like emptying something out. This this speaks to um, Neptune. Remember, Pisces is ruled by two planets, Jupiter and Neptune, right? Yeah. So you're divinely protected, just so you know. You're divinely protected. But Source is saying, you know, just um, emptying you of, out of, um, kind of emptying you out of, you know, like getting delivered from people's opinions of you or their beliefs about you, you know, just emptying you of that, you know, like, like, you know, sometimes people assume that if, you know, you don't, if you don't have the house, the cars, the this and that, you know, people will believe certain things about you. If you don't have these things, you don't, you're not worth, they don't, you don't know your worth or you're not worth X, Y, and Z delivering yourself from that. That's what source is trying to help somebody to learn how to do getting away from that kind of a mindset of, of people's judgment of you. Well, somebody's finally putting a manhole cover over the past. Yeah. Finally just putting a manhole cover over the past. That's what I, this is what I was, the card I was looking for. The source is trying to move you into a healthy work-life balance. Just about, just balancing everything out for you. That's what source is trying to help you move, just moving you into a healthy work-life balance. That's it. That's why I feel like somebody's money is growing. You're entering into a new kind of like a work situation, like a um, like a like a raise at work or something. So somebody could have applied for a position where you're getting an increase or whatever at work. But people really do hold you in high regard. They see you as down to earth and relatable. But your your legacy, right? You're not around energies that are wearing a mask. They're not pretending like they're. A, you know, they're not uh, trying to keep up an image in some way, shape, form, or fashion, right? They're not trying to keep up some kind of an image. Let's see what else we have. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Here we have the lover's card. Lover's card is not always about lovers. Lovers is about decisions, right? Decisions not to be in any more um, um, dysfunctional relationships like friendships, um, business relation, you know, relationships, whatever, right? Because you are down to earth and you relate to a lot of people, right? But no more dysfunctional, whatever, you know, situations. What I'm saying here. No more looking for people's acceptance, looking for their approval. This is the Six of Pentacles here, so some kind of an approval coming through, you know, for you. Yeah. Yeah, some kind of an approval here. So I feel like you'd be working with somebody who is going to help you with, you know, at least eight streams of income. You know, at least eight streams of income. Yeah. Yeah. At least eight streams of income I'm seeing here in the cards. Um... Let's see what else we have. Let's see. Where's the other cards? Yeah. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, I just feel like, I feel like um, where where you are, you know, just in life, just in general, whoever you are, even if you're a cross watcher, wherever it is in your um, birth chart, I feel like somebody is at a point where you just don't, you know, you're just above people's beliefs about you like you know whether people believe you believe in you don't believe in you whatever i feel like somebody is just above all of that just at that at your point where you are in life because i'm looking at these two cards right here 
I'm looking at these two cards right here. Mars and Pluto. These two cards right here. Mm hmm. I definitely feel like somebody is just delivered from other people's opinions of them, right? Somebody just feel very fortunate to, um, like I said, feel like they just have this whole new lease on life that they're not. You, when once once something is exposed, especially when, um, especially when you stop doing something for energies, you really know. Then you really find out this number, the three of pentacles right here. Three of pentacles is about teamwork like you realize who's on what team when you stop doing something like when you stop um like stop giving something like stop giving something of material worth or value or something y'all know what i'm saying like once you stop um you, you figure out who is on your team and who's not like that kind of stuff like um and it's like with this lightning bolt right here, like you figure, you, you know, right in a flash, like instantly, it's like something just like hits you like a lightning bolt. You immediately woke up from something. Yeah. Let me see something. Let's see what else we got going on here. And it was just, just something was really disappointing for somebody like, like, wow, like just something just really just woke you up. Like if you had not done the mirror work before that's when it just all of all of a sudden the scales just fell from somebody's eyes like if you had on blindfolds before or blinders before all of a sudden the blinders just came off like you started seeing just things through a, a different lens right you started seeing things through a different lens Hmm. And it all came it all came of somebody like maybe judging you or like prejudging you. They don't really know you or something like that happened. Like something like hit you like a lightning bolt. Like somebody said something to you that just like really judged you in some way, shape, form, or fashion that was just like you know about your family or something about your money or your physical appearance or because pentacles is not just about money like somebody says something about somebody that really just um or says something to somebody you know that was just like that's really just kind of hits you like oh wow yeah yeah leo could have been involved in something could have said something that just brought everything into focus. Here was the tower cards. There's a double tower card happening. Double tower moment happening here. Yep, double tower card happening here. Knight of Cups. And so, um, now I feel like some people are making some things about them because, yeah, I feel like people are making some things about them now because you know, people need saving. People need people to come save them, right? And now a manhole cover has been put over the past, right? A manhole cover has been put over the past. Like, something has stopped. Like, something has, like, three cups have fallen over. This is five of cups. So you got five cups and three cups have fallen over. Like, something has just, like, fallen over. Um, let's see what else we have. Um... Mm hmm. This is really, it's really interesting how things happen. It's really interesting how things happen because I feel like somebody was an overgiver of material possessions. That's what I'm looking at here. Like you, you must have been a person that just gave everything like an overgiver of material things, like just a lot of things. Um, like trying to save everybody, like trying to be everybody's knight in shining armor, whether you're a man or woman, doesn't because I'm talking to everybody who's tuned in, right? 
but something somebody said something that just like was like a lightning bolt to you like something just really like somebody said something that shook you like really woke you up to just how people around you really feel about you like somebody said something to you that people that lets you know how people really feel about you around you and sometimes you just never know like who like you had no idea like that's how people really feel like what you're so busy giving 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 trying to save people pay their rent trying to help them with this trying to help them with that babysitting doing all of these things to try to help people and all it takes is one comment that just sits you back in your chair and you just like is that how people really feel oh wow okay you had no idea you you had no idea but then all of a sudden everything else starts flowing and all everything else starts flowing right so yeah so that's where all of this comes from here so that's where the deep disappointment and heartbreak this is the three of swords here this is where the um you know energy is trying to restrict you in some way shape form or fashion basically like if they're not going to benefit from something then they're in, in some way shape form or fashion try to stop something right and that's where we're here you be able to defend your decision to move on without even coming across as defensive you just like i said just <coughs> yeah without even coming across as defensive here we have the six of pentacles again <coughs> double approval yep double approval to just move on yep coming from source Definitely not the type of team you want to be on when people just feel like they're going to strong arm somebody into something. That's definitely not the kind of team you want to be on with anybody, family members, friends, whomever. You definitely don't want to be on those kind of teams. Yep, leave that right outside your vault door. Yep, right outside your vault door. Don't even want to be a part of it. All right, so yeah. <clears throat> Don't want to be a part of that group of energies. Not at all. Not at all. Yeah, so this could have been anything. It could have been a job where you just where people realize they couldn't use you some way in shape form or fashion so they went right into trying to destroy you it could have been a family just any kind of organization any kind of organization for somebody you know and it's just a, uh, a person can be an organization right just how they're structured so people places and things right um can be people a part of an organization whatever you know but something went right into just as soon as you stop something immediately it just like hit you like a lightning bolt like something went right into just kind of like oh wow that's how people feel okay right so somebody's not happy without you but just let go and let god pour into yourselves more you are who they prayed for but they are amongst the bunk, uh, incubi and succubi somebody secretly has a crush on you whoever that may be i mean but you have the gift of um, precognition, but don't give yourselves a headache over it. It's time to expand your brand. Something isn't as deep as you think it is, but it's time to release the burden altogether. Your mental health is just as important as your physical health, but don't return their call. More money is coming in for somebody, but um, if somebody's still telling lies about you, you don't care. Um, it's, it's all becoming clearer now, but um, you're healing from the pain that they caused. And so it's time to do a sacral chakra cleanse and, and pray for them. <clears throat> yeah, just pray for them. Yep. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, pray, pray. All right, let's see what the number is. Let's see what your number is. Let's see what your number is. It's a double tower moment. Double tower moment. Number two, I am diplomatic. So you have great talent for finding solutions and 
uh, finding solutions. Your intuitive and unbiased nature allow you to see all sides of any situation and advise others towards the most fair and beneficial outcome. Number two. Yep. So, yeah, being fair-minded. That's what I have for you. Thank you for joining me. I will see you all in the next reading. All righty. Take care of yourselves. Bye.